Here, I'm going to demonstrate how to calculate the percent composition of a hydrocarbon, calculate the empirical formula, and also to calculate the molecular formulas of these organic compounds that we've been discussing. Percent composition is exactly what it sounds like. What percentage of the total compound is comprised of each of its components, the carbon, the hydrogen, and the oxygen? The first thing we need is the molecular mass of C10H16O8 to begin. The molecular mass will be the sum of 10 carbons plus 16 hydrogens plus 8 oxygens for a total molar mass of 264.26 grams per mole. That is the whole mass. Next, we need to find out the mass of the parts because percent composition will be a ratio of the part to the whole. I like to set it up per element and work them individually. 10 carbons adds up to be 100 point, I mean 120.10 grams per mole. So for carbon, its part is 120.10 versus the whole of the compound, which is 264.26. When we multiply that times 100, we get the percentage of carbon, and that's 45.4%. Now let's do hydrogen. Hydrogen makes up 16.16 grams per mole of the total compound. Its percentage, then, is 6.1% by mass. Notice this is not based on the number of atoms, but by the total mass of that atom. And finally, oxygen, which makes up 48.4% of the molecule by mass. To double check, Add these three numbers together and make sure they add up to about 100. And in this case, because of rounding, 99.9% .9 is good enough. This is how you calculate the percent composition of a molecule. This next question asks us to find the empirical formula for a compound composed of 57.1% carbon, 4.8% hydrogen, and 38.0% sulfur. It's almost like working backwards from percent composition. The empirical formula is the root combination or ratio of elements in a compound, or the most reduced ratio. Step one will be to take each of these percentages and divide them by the molar mass of each element to establish a ratio. This is an instant in chemistry when we want to go ahead and show extra decimal places in our answer. If we take the percentage for carbon, 57.1, and consider that to be a quantity in grams, we can divide by the molar mass for carbon of 12.01 and come up with a number, 4.754. Do the same thing for hydrogen and sulfur. Of these three numbers, we want to pick the smallest one and establish that to be the one Therefore, we're going to divide that into each of these. Since sulfur at 1.185 is the smallest, that's the one we'll divide into carbon and hydrogen's number. The answers we get will be whole number 4 for carbon, whole number 4 for hydrogen, and 1 for sulfur. This establishes our ratio for our empirical formula, which will look like this. C4H4S. That's how we find the empirical formula from percentages, or percent composition. The final example is about the molecular formula. The molecular formula is a multiple of the empirical formula. This says a compound's empirical formula is C2H5. If the molecular molar mass is 58 grams per mole, what is the molecular formula? These are actually easier than they, than they seem at first. What we need is a ratio between the molecular weight and the formula weight, meaning the empirical formula weight. The molecular weight is given at 58.00 grams per mole. To find the formula weight, we need to find the mass of two carbons and five hydrogens. 
The mass of two carbons at 12.01 each and five hydrogens at 1.01 each adds up to 29.07 grams per mole. What we need now is the ratio between molecular weight and formula weight. If you get mixed up, it's the larger number over the smaller number. This should establish a whole number ratio. In this case, the answer is 2. Next, we'll take the empirical formula of C2H5 and multiply all the subscripts times 2 to get our molecular formula. Therefore, our molecular formula is C4H10. If you can work these three problems, then you're prepared for the problems that you'll find on Friday's test. Go ahead and practice them again. Good luck!